I'm awake. I'm awake already. You're like the devil or something? Okay, bubs. Everything falls 
lost the heart. They are filled with regret and sorrow. They are in a lot of pain. They are heartbroken. They've lost touch with reality. Can I go through the door now? Once you go through that door, there is no going back. Thank you. You're welcome. See ya, Bubs. Blinding light that a burning pain washed over me. But then I was here. I can't shake this feeling of loss and despair. Am I. Am I dead? Where's my cell phone? Our very own local mystery. In other news, Knockfell Mills was engulfed in flames this morning. Firefighters rushed to the scene, but by the time they were able to eliminate the fire, a majority of the building and materials had already been destroyed. The factory has been a major source of employment for our small town since 1934. This is the third time the building has caught fire, though never have we seen such devastation as today. The authorities believe the fire to be a result of foul play, but couldn't say any more at this time. Earlier this year was also the anniversary of the previous fire, the second largest of the three, where over 20 people died. 
Luckily, this time there were no casualties. However, three of the factory workers are currently in the hospital with minor injuries. Currently, it is unclear as to whether the owners can afford to rebuild the mill. They had been on a slow decline for the past decade. And have been struggling financially. If they don't rebuild, many families will lose their main source of income. We'll keep you updated as we receive more details. Morning, Sally O. What's happening? Hey, Neil. No pigtails today, huh? I don't think I've ever seen you with your hair down. <laughs> I almost didn't recognize you. <sighs> yeah. You feeling all right, man? You seem out of it. Nightmares keeping me up. Ugh, sorry to hear that. It could be stress. I have trouble sleeping when I'm stressed out, too. Uh, anything you want to talk about? No, you're right. Ugh, it's probably just stress. There's a fresh pot of coffee downstairs. You should have a cup. It'll do you good. I never start the day without my caffeine fix. Thanks. Maybe I will. Not a problem, Salio. Where's Todd? He has class this morning. Oh, right. How goes the ghost hunting? Todd was saying that it's been pretty slow lately on that front. Slow? <laughs> I wish. Uh, I mean, yeah. Slow. It's been slow. Hmm. You boys are trying to keep me protected again, aren't you? It's sweet, but... You know I can handle myself, right? Plus, I am two years older than y'all, too. Uh, no, I know. It's, it's just that we... Yeah, yeah. Four friends made a pact five years ago, and I can respect the loyalty behind that. Actually, I think it's pretty dang cute. <laughs> Speaking of cute... I heard that the lovely Ash was coming to town today. The lone wolf of the four horsemen returns. Are you excited? We're supposed to catch up this afternoon. So that's a no on the excitement then? No, I can't wait to see her. I'm just, you know, feeling tired today. There's still coffee downstairs, calling your name. Sally Face, come get some! Did you hear those strange noises? Um, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific, Mr. Sleepyhead. Last night, I thought I heard something like a weird siren. I didn't hear anything like that. Mm, maybe Gizmo was up watching TV? No, it wasn't that. It was kind of like a... Uh, never mind. Probably just the nightmares. Gosh, man. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm good. Have you seen my cell phone? I can't find it anywhere. Oh yeah, I found it outside last night on the porch. I didn't want to leave it there, so I brought it in. I almost forgot I had it. Thanks. I didn't realize I left it outside. No 
worries. Happens to the best of us. Uh, here you go, man. How's work going? Ah, shoot. Work. I'm supposed to cover the morning shift today. Uh, gotta run, Salio. Catch you later. There's a note from Todd to me. I'll check back in a minute. Dude, really? Where do you keep getting these stickers? I can't believe we've been working on this for five years now. It feels like the more connections we find, the less sense it all makes. Is the cult still operating? If so, then where are they all? It was cool of Rob to give us some funds for new equipment. When he found out what we were up to, he basically thought we were the real-life ghost snappers. Huh, what's this loose tape? I saw the faded shape of a man. There's something important about him, I can feel it. Like a distant memory itching at the back of my skull. His image is fleeting. It flickers in and out of view. It's as if he's trapped in a parallel reality. A phantom, just out of reach. Or perhaps I am the phantom and he resides in the land of the living. I've cried for his attention, but I don't think that he can see or hear me. Looks like it's charged now. There's a new message from Larry. Are you awake? I am now. What's up? Something is wrong with Addison Apartments. Other than ghosts and creepy basement? I'm serious. I'm coming over. Give me a few minutes. Okay. Text me when you're ready. Ready. On the way now. This all seems to be a dramatic change from your original story, Mr. Fisher. Isn't it true you had initially stated that you were not in contact with Larry Johnson? Yes. So, you admit to lying in your original statements. Yes, I was in shock from what had happened and 
thought that the truth would be more harmful. That no one would believe me. I, I didn't know what else to do. And how can we trust anything you say now? How are we to decipher what is true and what is a lie? All I have left is the truth. It's important that people hear what I have to say. Whether they believe it or not, well... I hope, for their sake, that they do. Is that a threat? It's a warning. Would you have us believe that there is still a killer on the loose in Knockville? That all the evidence presented today, the victim's blood on your clothes and skin, your fingerprints on the murder weapon, the security footage, the eyewitness accounts, that all these things were some elaborate cover-up. Created by who? The county police department? If it's alright with the court, I'd like to continue my testimony. It's important that the story be told chronologically. In order to prevent details from being taken out of context, well, more so than they already have been. I'll allow it. Please continue with your testimony, Mr. Fisher, but realize we will expect answers to these questions the prosecution has presented. Everything will be answered. Then proceed. I'm telling you, dude, something is seriously wrong. Did you see the demon again? No, I haven't seen it since we blasted it years ago. I even went through every inch of the building this morning with the Super Gear Boy and found nothing. All the ghosts have been missing for weeks. That is a little odd. Though, who's to say it's a bad thing? Maybe they were able to finally pass on. I don't know, man. I've been getting this horrible feeling. Like, something under my skin, crawling around, itching at the back of my skull. It's like the quiet before the storm or some shit. I can feel it. Huh. What? Deja vu. I've been getting that feeling too. Like, everything is foggy and there's something there. Just beyond the fog. Just waiting. Yes, exactly. Whatever it is, it's coming from the apartments. So are you gonna come check it out or what? Of course I will. Should we get Todd? He is class today. Oh, alright. I was hoping he'd have a new gadget or something. He has been working on something, but I don't think it's finished yet. The guitar mods are finally done, but Todd hasn't shown me how to use it yet, so best not to mess with it. Hopefully it works better than that box thingy he made last year. Yeah, I'd like to keep my guitar in one piece. So, are you all packed up? Almost. I want to get the rest moved over this weekend. It'll be nice to finally get out of that basement. Cool. Uh, Todd said we can use the van, too. Sweet. Yeah.
Looks like you were right about the storm. All right, let's do this. Right behind you. Mr. Addison's been storing this stuff in here so long, I bet he doesn't even remember what's in all these boxes. They're probably filled with stuff from when his family was alive. Yeah, some of them are. The rest is like old clothes, old tea sets, cookbooks, just a bunch of old junk. What? Larry! What? You snooped through Terrence's things? Well, yeah, dude. How could I not? The guy never leaves his room. Plus, I also wanted to make sure he wasn't involved with the cult or hiding bodies in here or anything weird. But it's all just normal, boring old man stuff. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Next time you plan on doing some nosing around, make sure you let me know. <laughs> Will do. Well, good morning, young sirs. How are you two doing on this fine day? We're doing okay. Uh, how about you? I'm just wonderful. Things have been so peaceful in the building. Though, of course, we do miss having our dear Sal Fisher with us. And I'll be so sad to see Larry going as well. I'll miss it here too, but it'll be nice to get out of that basement. Plus, we're only right down the road. I understand. Our young lads are all grown up now and ready for the next stage of their lives. I'm excited for you both. You know, I wish you boys nothing but the best. You truly deserve it. Thanks. Thank you, Terrence. Why did they leave all of Rosenberg's stuff in here again? Madison still thinks she's on vacation or something, and that she'll come back. I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm still not really sure what happened to her. You said she just, like, disappeared, right? Yeah, but it was more than that. She appeared as a ghost before vanishing. I don't think she was fully human. Oh, right. I remember you saying that. And she was in the cult for a while, but then stopped them, or tried to stop them, which would have made her super old. I think she was a witch. That would make sense. Though, if she had powers, why would Rosenberg just mope around this little apartment? Maybe she was too old. Or maybe she had just given up. If I had powers, I would never retire. I'd be getting into all kinds of trouble. <laughs> I know you would. Are you getting any hits on the Super Gear Boy in here? Nothing. Huh. What is it? It's 
a tooth. Gross, dude. You picked it up with your bare hand? Well, I'm not just gonna leave it there. What if we need it for something? What could we possibly need someone's tooth for? Hi, I'm Sally Face, and this is my friend Larry. We research paranormal and occult activity in the town of Knockfell, where everything weird can and does happen. Good point. Yeah, what do you want, Sal? Ugh, why is he here? Uh, uh, hey, Mrs. Gibson, uh, we were... Well, that's about par for the course. That lady sure can hold a grudge. Surprise. Uh, hi, Janice. Hey. What brings you two here? Looking for ghosts. You boys and my daughter are like bees in a pod, aren't you? Hey, that rhymed! Have you seen anything weird lately? Things both strange and beautiful, don't you think? Definitely. Those boys just go into the bathroom together. <laughs> hmm. Greg. Are you here? Hello? Not getting anything on the Super Gear Boy either. Another tooth? Yeah. Maybe it's a clue or something. Hey guys, Larry, are you back for more already? Nah, oh, I'm cool, Ray. Thanks. Hey, Mr. Morrison. Sal, have you seen the garden yet? What do you think? Uh, it's great. Isn't it, though? It's a thing of a true beauty. How did you get all of this stuff anyway? Well, if I told you that, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> but really, this isn't exactly legal, per se. So I'd appreciate you guys keeping this our little secret. And of course, I'd be happy to supply you with same produce whenever you like. Your secret is safe with us. You don't have to worry about that. I didn't think so, but you can never be too safe. I know Todd isn't super fond of the fact that we uh, turned his old bedroom into a garden, but he knows how happy it makes us. He also knows that nothing will fill the Todd-shaped hole in our hearts. Aww. He's lucky to have such loving parents. 
and such good friends. I'm damn proud of all you boys. Damn proud. A pocket knife? <laughs> Score. Nice. That could come in handy. Did you see on the news that they said Charlie was going to be released? I did, but that's not the real Charlie. Where do you think he is now? The real Charlie, I mean. Most likely, the cult probably has him, or killed him. Maybe he ended up in the baloney. Ugh, as much as I didn't get along with that dude, no one deserves to be made into baloney. Charlie was a little strange, but he was a good guy. I was starting to like him before he thought he was a murderer. Man, we kind of screwed him over, didn't we? It wasn't our fault. We couldn't have known. And you saw him kill her with your own eyes. I still have nightmares about that. Oh man, it still reeks in here. Yeah, it does. I should have known those guys weren't real cops. I had a weird feeling about them. I don't know how they cleared this place out overnight with just the two of them. They were definitely the same dudes pretending to be cops when Mrs. Sanderson died too. I saw them leaving in the morning. I saw them too, remember? Yeah. Maybe that's why they came overnight, because they knew we'd recognize them somehow. Todd still hasn't been able to figure out their true identities, huh? No, but I could have sworn I saw one of them going into the church a few weeks ago. I've been keeping an eye out every day now. They've been having a lot of meetings over there. That's like a normal church thing, though. Meetings and whatnot? Could be nothing. Or it could be something. That church did always give me the creeps. We went up to Chapel Hill a few times for holidays when I was younger. I've been talking to Todd about setting up some hidden cameras and audio recorders up there, just to check it out. Cool. I'm down for some good old B and E. B and E. Breaking and entering. Come on, dude. Oh, right. Thank you. 
There's a VHS tape inside. There are others here. Parallel to this place, like the man. Though... Not significant like he seems to be. They are harder to see and appear less often. And something else... Something ominous lurks beyond my vision. Even though my senses can't make it out, I can feel its presence. I can feel its gaze piercing through me. What's left of my humanity is crumbling away in this void. I fear what I am to become in such endless isolation. Then he shoved the whole frickin' thing right down his throat. The whole thing. Can you believe it? Chug is an animal, dude. I love that guy. Dude, are you even listening to me? Sorry, I zoned out for a second. No worries. Hey, Sal. Hey, Larry. What are you up to? Hey, David. We're just checking in with everyone. How are things going? It's awfully kind of you, but I'm afraid I can't talk much at the moment. Sarah isn't feeling well, you see, so I gotta take care of her. Sorry to hear that. I hope she gets well soon. We'll be around if you need anything. Thank yous. Thank you, both. Yo, what up, guys? Yo. Hey, CJ. Are you having a party tonight or something? Nah, but Z and Sierra are coming over later. It's gonna be like old times. You two should stop by if you can. Sounds cool. We'll keep that in mind. Cool, cool. Hey, guys. Hi, Sal. Uh, hey, Larry. Hey guys. Yo. You two look like you're up to no good, as usual. Glad to see something stay the same. Ooh. Are you guys working on another one of your secret cases? It wouldn't be a secret if we told you, now would it? I suppose not. How are you two? We're good. You know, ups and downs. Mostly good, though. Yeah. How have you been, Sal? Haven't seen you around in a little while. I've been okay, keeping busy with school and whatnot. So, Chug, I heard that your parents moved out. a few months ago. Too crowded in here with all of us. Plus, they wanted to give us privacy. It's been nice. That was nice of them to give you guys the apartment. Oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to go visit my parents tonight. Are you okay to watch Soda while I'm gone, babe? Of course. 
Notice anything weird? Nope, it's been nice and ghost furry. No spooky stuff for us. Let's hope it stays that way. See ya. Hey, ya soda. How's my best baby doing? <laughs> Wanna go for a ride on Uncle Sal's shoulders? Oh, Sal. She has a bit of a rash right now. You might not want to pick her up. Thanks for the heads up. Mommy? Yes, love? I want to buy our Uncle Sal with soldiers! Not today, Muffin. Okay? Remember what I said this morning? Oh, okay day. Ah, uh, don't worry, little so. If you take the medicine you got from the doctor this morning, we'll have you flying around in no time. <laughs> promise? I promise. <laughs> you bet. The tooth will set you free. Dude, no. Hey, hey. There's my ghost nebbers. Hey, dude. Hey, Rob. How goes the hunting? It's dead around here. None of the ghosts have been showing up for a little while now. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We aren't sure yet, but we're looking into it. I see. Have you noticed anything strange lately? Anything at all? Well, I got this weird lump on my left butt cheek. If you guys could take a look. Whoa, I don't know if we're really qualified for that. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. My bottom is as smooth as butter. <laughs> butter. Ha! <laughs> Larry, you fucking goofball. Hey, Dad. Hey, Lisa. Hey, guys. Hi, fellas. Yo. Hey, when's the last time we had the entire family together like this? Um, like a couple weeks ago? <laughs> so... We should all have dinner together tonight. Come on, what do you say, boys? Lisa's going to show me the secret to making her lasagna. Hmm, your lasagna is the best, Lisa. Aww, thank you, sweetie. I'm not gonna say no to free dinner. Actually, I have plans tonight. But if I'm done early, I'll come over. Okay. Well, have Larry instant message you, or whatever you kids do, once dinner is ready. It's called texting, Dad. 
Right, right. That. Sounds good. Oh, sorry. We didn't realize anyone was in here. Mr. Sanderson? Uh, hi, Larry. I was just saying goodbye to Sandy. Saying goodbye? I'm leaving Knockfeld tonight. I just... I, I need to leave this place. It's understandable, man. You've been through a lot. Have you... Uh, this may sound a bit odd, but uh, have either of you seen my wife around? I don't know if you believe in ghosts. I, I, I guess I was just hoping I could speak to her once more. We have seen her. Oh dear, I was afraid of this. Uh, how is my angel doing? I haven't been able to contact her at all. She misses you a lot. She's lonely here. But we haven't seen her for a little while. My poor Sandy. She didn't deserve this. What is it that you were afraid of? Huh? You said I was afraid of this. Of what exactly? Um, n never mind. I I'm just upset. That that's all. Um, would you boys do me a favor and just give me a moment alone here? Sure, Mr. Sanderson. That's no problem. Let us know if you need anything. Thank you, Larry. There's a tape here, but it's broken. Why? Why won't you answer me? Every passing moment just silently staring down upon me with no remorse. as we speak and they mean to open the vortex. Perhaps into this world, a bridge between us and them. Does this not arouse your attention in any way at all? Sometimes I wonder if you're even real. If there is anyone behind that lens or just a corpse decaying at the helm. My pleas for help infinitely echoing to the vast emptiness of death. But I mean, if all three of us are down, I'm down. I don't really care what people would say. What do you think? Uh, yeah, sure. Really? I wasn't sure if you'd be into the idea. And we should probably revisit this conversation again later. My mind is a little fuzzy right now. You glitched out again while I was talking, didn't you? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay, dude. I know you can't control it. Did you get anything useful from it this time? I think so, but I'm still trying to piece it together. It's weird to be leaving after living here for so long. I felt that way when we left New Jersey, but it was a change I didn't know I needed at the time, so I'm glad it worked out the way it did. Yeah, it'll be awesome to room with you and Todd. 
I can't wait for that, honestly. Still, and I know I'm not going far, but it's still a little sad for some reason. It's a big change, Larry. It's okay to feel emotional about it. Hmm. You okay? Yeah, I'm cool. Let's keep looking around. Do you remember the first time I saw you without your mask? How could I forget? You were headbanging so hard it flew right off and whacked me in the face. <laughs> you were so worried about my bloody nose that you didn't even notice at first. I felt bad. Yeah, but then once I told you I was fine, why did you cry? Because you didn't look away. I still can't believe my dad abandoned us. It doesn't feel like him. It doesn't feel real. I... Uh, I, I... I don't... I know there's something you've been keeping from me, Sal. Something about my dad. You're horrible at keeping secrets. It's okay, man. I haven't mentioned it before because I trust you. If you're keeping something from me, it's because you have to. Right? Look, it's been hard keeping this from you, but I, I couldn't be sure what was real and what wasn't. I, I didn't want to upset you, but I, I think your dad has been contacting me somehow. What? I'm not sure if it's really him or not. That's why I haven't brought it up. Plus, he told me to keep you safe and not to tell you about him. He says that if you knew the truth... It would put you in danger. If it is your father, then I... Well, I don't think that he's 100% human. But the important thing is that he didn't abandon you. He sacrificed himself to try and stop the cult. To protect you and Lisa. He loved you both more than anything. What do you mean he's not human? It's kind of hard to explain, but I think your dad was an alien or something. He crash-landed here after losing his home planet to a plague of shadows. He was with his sister Evelyn, but she died in the crash or got lost or something. He wasn't really clear about what happened to her. Aren't you going to say anything about all this? No, you don't have to make up some crazy story to make my dad into a hero. Aliens? Really? Dude, that didn't help your story at all. I'm telling you the truth, Larry, I swear. Alright, dude, it's fine. Can we just drop this for now? Okay, but... We're gonna talk about this more later. I'm not making this up. You want the tooth? You can't handle the tooth. Shh. 
Shit, I must have dropped the key somewhere this morning when I was looking around. When was the last time you remember having it? I have no idea. I could have sworn it was still in my pocket. I'm sure it'll show up somewhere. Holy shit, Pickle! You've made a mistake! What the hell, man? The end will be us all! What does that even mean? You can't be staying in here. Darkness binds! Dude scared the shit out of me. I've caught that bum sleeping up here before, too. I wonder what he meant. It just sounded like crazy gibberish to me, man. What, no stupid pun this time? I couldn't really think of any to tell you the tooth. Did you remove these? Yeah, I did that this morning when I was looking around. Okay, uh, let's double check in here. So much death and destruction under one roof. Yeah, I feel bad for the Holmes family. They didn't deserve what happened to them. And as much as I want to hate Luke for what he did, I can't help but feel sorry for the dude. He brought it on himself by helping the Council summon the demon. It just sucks that he had to get Stacy and Megan caught up in it. Do you think it's really dead? The Red-Eyed Demon? Yeah, I know Todd's blaster supposedly destroyed it, but it seemed a little too easy, didn't it? I know what you mean. I've thought the same thing before, but we haven't seen any sign of it for years now. What if, like, we only wounded it, and it's just waiting in the dark somewhere until it gets better? Then we blast it back to hell again when it shows up. If demons are real and souls are real, do you think there are angels too? And heaven and hell, God and the devil, is all of it real? I hope so. I go back and forth in all of that, but I hope there is something good out there. Something better than us. I never used to believe in anything supernatural before. Now, with everything we've seen, I'm not so sure what I believe in. I've always had the feeling that there's something bigger going on. I just never really knew what it was or what that meant. I still don't.
Megan? Hello? Are you with us? Nothing on the super gear, boy. Hey, where did our necklace go? Huh. I didn't notice it was gone before. That's weird. Maybe that's why she's not coming out. What about the rest of them? I don't know. Looks like there's a hidden panel on the bottom of the birdcage. I never noticed it before. That's weird. There's a loose screw in it. Almost like someone had tried to open it. Hmm. I'll need a screwdriver or something to open this. find a screwdriver in order to open this. Whoa! I think I found that key you lost. I didn't lose it, I just... Wait, where the hell did that even come from? I didn't put it in there. Someone wanted us to find this. They couldn't have just slipped it under my door or put it in my mailbox or something? Reality is a tangled web. Uh, what? Never mind. We've got the key now. Let's go check out the temple. Everything seems normal here, Larry. Well, normal for Addison Apartments, at least. What about all those teeth and the glowing birdcage thing and the key? I guess that was a little odd. This feeling won't go away either. Something bad is coming, dude. I don't know what or when, but I can feel it. You may be right. I'll feel Todd in when he's home and we can come over later tonight with his gadgets. Okay, when is he out of class? 
He should be out by now, but I'm supposed to meet up with Ash, remember? Oh, right. You should bring her along. I think we should go easy on her for now, with the paranormal stuff. That's true. Last time she tagged along, things didn't go too well. Man, that was like a year ago now. Seems like every year just goes by faster and faster. They definitely do. Also, don't forget that we're all getting together for dinner tomorrow night. <laughs> How could I forget? Between you and Ash, I've got about a thousand texts about it. Hey, Ashley. Sal! I'm so excited to see you. I've missed you so much. I, uh... I missed you too, Ash. You cut your hair. I like it. Thanks, it's easier for riding. I see you changed your hair as well. Oh, yeah, I guess. Looks rad, though I do kind of miss the pigtails. <laughs> I haven't been out to the lake since the last time we went there together. What's that? I said it's been a long time since I've been to the lake! Me too! It's so nice out there! Peaceful! So, you and Ben all good now? Yeah, we're good. What was that all about, anyway? Stupid sibling stuff. He called me soulless because I didn't cry at Grandma's funeral. He said I wasn't human because I never cry and blah, blah, blah. Then it turned into a big argument, as if I wasn't sad enough about Grandma. Anyway, the point is that we made up and we're okay now. You know, now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever seen you cry. Well, I must be some kind of soulless monster. Grah! <laughs> you better watch out. We kill monsters like you around these parts. No, you better watch out. This ain't no monster y'all want to be messing with. Them is fighting words, missy. I hope you kissed your mama goodbye this morning. <laughs> How have you been, Sally Face? <sighs> I've been having nightmares. I'm sorry. Are they as bad as before? They're different. It's hard to explain. I've been losing a lot of sleep because of it. Are you worrying about anything? Sometimes if I'm worried about something or just struggling with something difficult, I'll get nightmares from that. I've had this overwhelming sense of dread lately. It doesn't make any sense because everything is fine. Everything should be good. Have you been taking those meds? Uh, yeah. Well, most of the time. You should take them if they help. I have a cousin that struggles with depression too, and she said the meds she takes helps her a lot. I guess they do help, but they also make me feel numb inside. At least with the dread, I know it's real. Or at least, really me. I 
I think I can understand that. I just want you to be happy, so... You better make sure you call me if you ever need help. Or even if you just need to talk. You know I'm always here for you, right? I know. Thanks, Ash. And I've said this before, but you know you don't have to wear that around me. My face? Your mask. But it's like a part of me now. It's the face I wear in public. The face I wear all the time. I just want you to know that you don't have to wear it if you don't want to. It's just you and me out here. No one is around. How have you been? I've been okay, you know? But I'm starting to feel better now that I'm out of the city. I thought you liked the city. I love the city. It's great, and there are always cool things happening. I just don't love living there. It's so noisy all of the time, and so crowded. You can't hear yourself think sometimes. I could see that. The longer you spend there, it starts feeling like you're losing your connection to nature. As weird as it sounds, I've been missing Knockville. I miss the fresh air, the nature. I miss seeing the stars at night and being able to hang with my friends. We've missed you too, Ash. Though I don't think we'll be seeing any stars tonight. Not with a storm rolling in. I noticed that. <laughs> Looks like we may get rained on. What about art school? I think I'm gonna take some time off from school. I'm feeling pretty burned out. Do you think you'll go back? Probably. I just need to figure some things out first. I might take a few classes at the community college while I'm getting my shit together. Oh, that'd be cool. Larry's also thinking about going. He mentioned that. I was surprised. Uh, I didn't think he'd go the college route. <laughs> Me neither. It could be like old times again. The whole crew back in school. Are you happy? Happy with what? Everything. Life. I don't know. That's a hard question. Even though I've had a hard time lately, I try to find things that make me happy. Things that are worth pursuing. Otherwise, what's the point, you know? Yeah. I'm happy right now. Are you sure you're okay, Sal? I'm getting a little worried about you. I don't know. I guess I am feeling off. It just feels like everything is wrong. What do you mean? It feels like nothing puts me at ease. It's this constant feeling of discomfort like my soul isn't aligned with my body. I just feel like screaming at the sky until it breaks apart. Well? Well, what? Let's do it! Uh, I don't know. Come on! I bet you'll feel better! Hey, Todd. Hey! You're back from your date with Ashley already? I, I don't think it was a 
a, a date, but yeah. Whatever you say, Sal. How did it go? It was nice seeing her. It's gonna be good to have her back. Indeed. Ashley is a good egg, and our investigations could benefit from the female perspective. Additionally, simply having fresh eyes on our research could prove useful. Speaking of, Larry and I think there's something weird going on in the apartments again. I told him that I'd bring you over tonight to check it out. Perfect. This will give me an opportunity to test out the new things I've been working on. Give me a few minutes to get ready. Sure. Let me know whenever you're ready to head over. Will do. Sal, I'm sorry, dude. Please don't blame yourself. Sorry for what? What are you talking about? It's time for me to go. You better not be doing anything stupid. Stop messing around, Larry. This isn't funny. Hey. Larry? Pick up. Pick up the phone, Larry. You better pick up. Larry. <laughs> <laughs>